Well, welcome back. Drowning is the leading cause of death for kids ages one through four and the state with the most drownings each year. Yeah, it's Florida. So this morning we have the Safe Kids Supervisor at John Hopkins All Children's Hospital with us. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. And you are teaming up with the Clearwater Fire and Rescue for an important event. We're talking a free giveaway here. Tell us what's going on. So we are giving life jackets tomorrow because spring break is starting for many counties in the Tampa Bay area. And we are uh, giving them a way to make sure children are safe. And one of the things that families may want to look at when purchasing life jackets or when they are coming to us that they are U.S. Coast Guard approved life jackets. Okay, because and that is marked, you know, if we want to show people. It's, sure. it's right in the back. Mm -hmm. It's pretty clear, so you do want to look for that. Absolutely, because so many families have life jackets that they think are okay, but looking for the U.S. Coast Guard approach is the key to that. And also, another thing with life jackets yeah. is to have them tightly fitted on the child. So, for example, you have this strap right here on the bottom and you want to make sure it's snug th throughout uh, onto the child. Right, so that goes down through the legs and then that way it's going to not you know, float up around their neck and you have something that you can kind of control a little bit better. Why exactly. give them away for free though? Is it something that you feel like families just don't want to spend the money on it? They don't realize how important it is. What do you hope to get out of uh, a free giveaway? We are hoping that families will truly use them as a tool, an appropriate tool, because I think, uh, I believe that Sometimes families may not think about how important it is or when they are visiting from other states, they mm -hmm. may not have them. We are just hoping to save lives to give them away. I know, I feel like every every holiday, especially or vacation, I feel like we end up covering a horrible headline in the news of somebody visiting who ends up drowning. You know, it's just, it's awful. So when it comes to what people do and don't know, what do you think is a, the biggest mistake that maybe families make as far as the safety of their children? So for example, when it comes to their homes, especially right now after a hurricane, what yeah. is very, very important is to have functioning, not broken barriers. And you can imagine how many fences were taken down by the winds and stuff. And it sure. might be a burden on families to repair them, but it, when they have a pool, it is very, very important to uh, repair those fences or uh, prevent any access of any child from the pool. The other thing is that we hear a lot in the community is that um, my child can swim, I don't have to watch them mm -hmm. necessarily. And we have water watcher badges and we say even if they are over the age of 10 and on a swim team, yeah. uh, please watch them at all times because kids can bump their heads, etc. Or play a little rough or not even know what, you know, and I, I love this idea of a badge, be a lifesaver. And you put some of the power back on the kids to watch each other because you can't have enough eyeballs on, on your family when it comes to keeping them safe sure. in the water. So the event, um, where do people need to go? Uh, we have fire station at 46 yep. on Clearwater Beach. All mm -hmm. right, and that starts tomorrow? Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Perfect. Good information. Thank you. It's so important. So definitely everybody keep an eye on those kids and look for that Coast Guard seal of approval. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank this you. Morning.